Good day, ladies and gents, and welcome on back to another episode of Nick Reviews Anything. And you can hear that. Again, I have to give the disclaimer before every video that that's Ripley, and he pants, and he wants to say hello. So, Ripley. Ripley, where are you going? Come here. All right. I don't know. He pants. There's nothing I can do. It's going to be in the background. Sorry. If you saw the thumbnail, today's episode is going to be about faucet that I recently purchased. The Kohler Tyne Tin? T-Y-N-E? I, I don't know. It's probably my only complaint. I mean, side note, why would you ever name a product something that could be confused in terms of uh, pronunciation? Why, why would you do that? Why would you call something the T-Y-N-E? The Tyne, the Tinny, the Tin? I don't know. But this episode is going to be a review of this, thought, this, this faucet right here. So let's get into it. First off, super simple to install. Um, you basically unbolt the old one, put this one in. This one installs in a one, a two, a three, or a four hole operating sink system. So it's available pretty much if you have a sink, this can go in it. It's available in all different kinds of colors. This is the stainless steel, but it's in chrome, black, gold, dark brown, I believe. Something like that. Um, anyway, I just want to show you underneath my sink how hard or how easy it is to put in. Make it under here. Oh, make it under here, and you can see there's the weight system for it. Oh, let me get you. Uh, let me get you right there. You can see the gold threaded. Thing that comes through and all that's on there is a up at the very top is a hand tightened nut and then once you hand tighten that there's two screws one on each side that you just snug up against the base of your sink system super simple um, you get your two lines that you feed into your service lines and you have the weight um, Super simple to put in, no issues at all. Um, plenty of, of reach for the for the service lines that it comes with. To, if you like, my service lines come in and up, but some are people's are in their wall, so there'd be plenty of length to get it into your wall if it's back there or anything like that. You can install this. I installed this with a screwdriver and just a, an adjustable wrench. Super simple. Anyway, let's get back up front. Okay, back up front here, as you can see, just your standard moves very freely like this. It goes out, retracts, has a magnet here that holds it in place. Um, Get your lever right here and turn it on. And you know, mine's set where hot water is pulled towards me. Same thing, turn it on. Um, really, one of my only gripes is that it's hard to get just a small stream. Like when you just click it on, it goes on right away. You know, you kind of have to mess with it a little bit and then go back. Minor inconvenience, not a big deal. Um, the main reason I got this was for the name. I don't want to be replacing a faucet every two or three years, so I went with the Kohler. Um, it had good reviews, a little pricey, um, runs $180 to $200. So I kind of hope I get what I pay for with this. They call, you know, you have your regular stream, but then they, they call this their side sweep technology. Yeah, kind of a pretty powerful blast there. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. 
pretty powerful. It'll clean off plates and, and dishes and things like that. So, other than that, I really have no issues. It's super simple to put in. Obviously, super simple to use. It feels nice. It feels like it's got... Oh, that's... That would be my other dog, Dallas, barking at... Who knows what. Let's go see what she's barking at. What's the deal? What's the deal? What's out there? What's out there? Yeah, yeah, you know. I don't like it when you're barking. You know. That's not good. Yeah. Yes, and there's... Hello, Ripley. Hello. No, no. But yeah, I looked at other faucets and, um, you know, none that really stood out to me. This one had really good reviews. I really like the name. Um, I think my old faucet was the same name and that lasted, you know, 10, 15 years, something like that. But yeah, there's plenty of room under here for pots and pans, depending on your sink. I just have a regular double sink. But um, you could, you know, you could pull this out and then go all the way over, and it comes out pretty far. Oops, it comes out about, you know, 14, 16 inches, something like that. Pretty long. So yeah, I mean, if you're in the market for a, a faucet and you're looking for a good name, something that's easy to put in, check this guy out. Um, I'll put pictures of some. You know, they have pictures online of some. Um, facts about it and and whatnot like that but other than that kind of a super simple video guys it's just a faucet but so far i like it will it hold up that's to be figured out that's to be found out i've had this for about six months now no issues at all so like i was saying short video guys um yeah i like it yeah, no issues at all. The price kind of sucks, but I'm hoping you kind of get what you pay for. Something that lasts a decent amount of time. So, yeah, go check it out. The Kohler Pine, or Tin, if you know how to pronounce it, leave it in the comments. I'd like to know. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. You know the deal. Like, share, subscribe, ask questions, whatever you want. I'm here. Um, yeah. Have a good one, guys. I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.